Hey miners, Mining King here. Today we're going to be talking about CPUs. So let's get right into it. Are high energy rates cutting into your crypto mining profits? Introducing Terra Hosting, your solution for first class, hassle free crypto mining. At Terra Hosting, we specialize in hosting services tailored for GPUs, ASICs, and AI machine learning. Say goodbye to skyrocketing electricity bills and noisy, heat-producing hardware. Our unique service offering combines low electric rates with a community blockchain-oriented data center, while ensuring your equipment stays safe and secure. With Terra Hosting, you simply set it and forget it. Contact us today to learn more and get answers to all your questions. Terra Hosting. Trust as a service. Okay, guys. So there's been a lot of talk on Bass, uh, you know, about Bass, about hardware. What should I buy? I don't know what CPUs I need. I mean, just look at all these. You have all different types of CPUs, right? You have Intel. You have the Intel, the Intel retail level, like the, you know, the Core i5, and then you have the enterprise level, the Xeons, and then you have Ryzen, you have Threadrippers, you have Epics. There's so much to choose from. How do you know which one to pick? Well, the first thing you guys are going to need to do is you guys need to ask yourselves is what type of system are you guys trying to build? So let's go over some of our choices today. I've lined up some choices for us today. We have the Xeon family. We have the Epic family. We have the Intel uh, i5-12600K for the consumer grade Intel. And then we also, um, and then we also have the 7900X from Ryzen. Let's go ahead and let's start off with the Epic, right? So Epic's, and the reason that people traditionally like these is going to be strictly from a PCIe lane um, configuration perspective, right? Because Epics have so much connectivity, and this is why they're able to use so many PCIe lanes is from is from the Epic itself, right? Epics are able to have up to a hundred and twenty-eight lanes of connectivity. So as far so today what we're going to do is is we're going to figure out what systems are best from a price perspective and what systems are you guys trying to build and how much would these guys, would these cost you as far as I'm going to say from a PCIe lane perspective how much are you paying per lane with each dollar right so we'll start off with the first one we're going to use the epic which I would recommend if you plan on trying to do a build with multiple GPUs. If you're having more than, I'm gonna say two GPUs and you want them all to be at full X16 lanes, then this is going to be exactly what you need. If you wanna get three or more cards, you're definitely gonna need an Epic. So it's $109 plus tax. And we have we have free standard shipping in the US. So we're gonna say 110 plus another 10 bucks. So we'll say $120. We're gonna divide that by 128 lanes because that's how many lane um what am I doing? 120 divided by 128. That's how many lanes of PCIe Gen 3, the first generation epics have is 128 lanes of PCIe Gen 3. Okay. You're paying an average of 93 cents a lane if you were to buy this Epic. And they are brand new, so that is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and let's go to our next choice, which is going to be going into the realm of the newer uh, consumer-grade uh, hardware. So the 7900X, uh, 7900X from AMD Ryzen has 28 Gen 5 lanes. Now, Gen 5 is much faster than previous generations, but you're only going to be able to get one full 16 slot 
from the 7900X. So even if you had a motherboard that would support two uh, Gen 5 slots, they would get reduced down to uh, eight lanes because this processor can't give you more lanes than what it's able to handle, which is 28. So let's go ahead and let's figure out. So the Epic was at 93 cents. Now that we got this down on paper, let's go ahead and let's figure out what this new Ryzen is going to cost us. So what's this going to cost us per lane? Let's figure it out. 460 divided by 28. We're paying about $16.42 a lane. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's pick one of my favorites um, and let's see how it does. So you can, this is one of my favorite CPUs, man, for, I have tons of these in my workstations and they're very cheap. Uh, these are the E5 2660 V3s. Um, they're $6.78, free standard shipping in the US. So, I mean, you even put 10% where well, we're at $7.38. So, uh, Intel Xeon 2660B3 uh, has 40 PCIe lanes and is $7.38. All right, well, let's figure out our cost per lane on this particular CPU. So, we have about seven dollars thirty-eight cents, and we're going to divide it by forty lanes. So we're at about eighteen cents per lane. And then we'll go to the final one. We'll go to the Intel i5 twelve six hundred K because Intel's the new the new ARM based with their efficiency cores and P cores. They're actually pretty decent. Um, so let's go ahead and let's figure out this average price per lane. So it's an Intel i5, 12600K. So it has 20 PCIe lanes. It is $212. And the average price per lane is 212 divided by 20. About $10.60 per lane you're paying for that GPU. So you're paying about $10.60. All right. The reason I did this is I wanted to break out the different types of CPUs you guys should be looking for when we're looking at CPUs for our vast builds. If you look at the PCIe lane configurations at, from the consumer grade level, we pay a significant amount more money for these particular CPUs, right? Well, one, these CPUs are newer and more on the cutting edge of technology than some of our other counterparts, right? Versus a first gen Epic or the older Xeon V3. So obviously we're gonna be paying much, much less for our counterparts if we buy them um, a few generations older. So as you get newer in generation, even though these cores are stronger, it just depends on what setup you guys want to run. If you guys only want to run one GPU, maybe you might wanna go with a 5900X or a 5950 or a 3900X. Use a spare CPU mining rig that maybe you guys built. That would be perfect for the situation if you just wanna build one rig and get into it, right? Now, let's say you want to have two cards in a rig. Well, maybe you might want to buy a server. Maybe you might want to get some Xeons, right? Or maybe an Epic, depending upon how many GPUs you want to get into. But without this information here, you won't know exactly which CPU to buy because most people buy just computers and think that with all these slots in them that they're just going to be able to get the full actual speed of the lane and that's just not how it works 
It's all about the PCIe configuration that's on the chip and on the board. If you guys are looking for uh, PCIe lane configurations and to get a better understanding, I suggest watching my other video, why PCIe lanes are so important. I did it about two weeks ago and it was a pretty good video. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, this is the money can give you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.